We are truly sorry and humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth His glory. Come, let us adore Him. Let us recite the night day together. Come, let, let us sing to the Lord. Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken this to his voice. The psalm for today is Psalm 78, verses 23 through 29. We will say the psalm responsibly by the half verse. So he commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat. And he gave them rain from heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He provided for them food enough. Caused the east wind to blow in the heavens. And let out the south wind by his might. He rained down flesh upon them like dust. And winged birds like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp. And around about their dwellings. So they ate and were well filled. For he gave them what they craved. Please be seated for the first one. First lesson is from Exodus. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, and we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. For you have brought us out into the wilderness to kill this whole assembly of hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you. And each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way I will test them, whether they will follow my instruction or not. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the Israelites, Draw near to the Lord, for he has heard your complaint. And as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the Israelites, they looked toward the wilderness, and the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening, quails came upon and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. 
When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. We stand as we recite chapter 12 in unison. <laughs> Glorify the Lord, all you words of the Lord. Praise him, highly exalted in the earth. In the firmament of the tower, glorify the Lord. Praise him, highly exalted in forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him, and highly exalted in forever. Glorify the Lord in the mountains and hills. And all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord with springs of water and seas and streams. O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. The second lesson is from John 6, verses 24 through 35. A reading from the Gospel according to John. <coughs> the next day, when the people who remained after the feeding of the 5,000 saw that neither Jesus nor the disciples were there, they themselves got in boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for, etern for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? <laughs> Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give, give us then, so that we may see it and believe? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and it is written, he gave them the bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand as we recite the fifteen in unison. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud with their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help the servants of God, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. 
the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's now recite the words of the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray in the words our Savior Christ has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together the contemporary college. Let your continual mercy, O Lord. Cleanse and defend your church, and because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's also pray together in the public for our guys. Gracious God. Through the movement of your Holy Spirit, you have brought forth your church, the Diocese of Easton, on the eastern shore of Maryland. Strengthen us as an inviting and welcoming faith community, transformed by the love, hospitality, and reconciling truth of Jesus. Receive our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. Nurture and sustain our life and faith and help us to be a grateful people of your grace upon grace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Father, the nation. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The prayers of the people this morning are for three. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all the government and authority in the nation and the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed, especially Joe Lynn Boonder, Deborah's cousin, eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. 
May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. We ask your prayers for those who are sick, especially Albert, Patty, Nita, Faye, Ralph, Mike, Tony, John, Catherine, Pam, Danny, John, Tyler, Marion, Carol, Rachel, Ted, Grace, and Deborah, and all people affected by the coronavirus around the world. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays, especially Daniel Christopher and Nadia Christopher, and those celebrating anniversaries, especially Bob and Kathy the Suter, 29 years today. Happy anniversary. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we give thanks for all who serve on the diocesan committees and ministries supporting Christ's mission in the world. We give thanks for the lay persons of our 40 parishes and missions in the Diocese of Easton and pray for God's continued guidance of their wardens, vestry members, and all congregational leaders. We also ask for prayers for Lynn Milton and the Reverend Deacon Stephanie Clayfield as they discern their calls and holy orders. Let us pray. Please stand and recite with me the word of the general thanksgiving. <coughs> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Before we get to the recessional, I just wanted to take a moment for a few announcements. Uh, you can see in the back of the bulletin, um, there are still raffle tickets for sale for the book, which is the draw is now held on November 13th. Um, after the um, Pokemon Christmas Arts and Crafts Festival, which we will also be present at the debate table. So hopefully we'll sell a bunch more tickets there. Um, we, last week, uh, Reverend Stephanie mentioned the Pokemon High School Supply Request. Uh, this is it's from, directly from the high school, and there's a list of items here that they have requested. Um, and we have also decided to use some funds from BESS for that because best is supposed to be for the community and had totally slipped my mind. So um, best will also be used for that. And then there's a question about the card ministry. If anybody has any um, extra get well cards or birthday cards, taking a few cards, we could certainly use those. So you can, um, if you have those, you can bring them by the office. And then um, the Worcester County Gold Backpack Ministry that we will participate in again this year. We have two families. One family has four children, and um, the other family just has one. And so we're collecting donations for that because it's easier if somebody just goes and does the shopping, and um, it just makes it easier. And then, um, well, that's it. On behalf of Alice Bailey's family, we just wanted to say thank you again to everybody who participated that um, on the 23rd for her funeral it was quite a send-off, and I know she would have loved it. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 